Hello and welcome to our next Denova Phone My Apps tutorial. In this video, we will be introducing the basic functions and settings of the Phone app and the Soft Phone app. With My Apps, the user interfaces of the Phone app and the Soft Phone app are identical. The difference between the two is that the Phone app manages a desk phone, while the Soft Phone app will turn any device such as a smartphone, laptop, tablet or desktop computer into a telephone. The desk phone that we will be using in this video is an IP232. If you click onto the hamburger button at the top right corner, you will get to the settings. Here, you can determine whether the video image shall be transmitted automatically with a call and whether application sharing and video shall always be brought to the front. Shall calls be initiated with the enter key? You can activate and deactivate call waiting and number suppression. You can determine whether you would like to be transferred automatically to the call waiting once the active call is terminated. An automatic hangup can be configured to quickly be available again for other calls. If your status is set on Do Not Disturb, you can determine whether the ringing device shall remain silent or if calls shall be rejected. You can set up and edit call diversions. Please watch our MyApps tutorial number 36 for further details. Join and leave available groups. Watch our MyApps tutorial number 31 on our Recordings app to learn how to record calls and how to manage recorded calls. You can select the audio devices that are to be used, the camera, the ring device, the ringtone, and the profile. A stun and turn server test can be performed and you can also check the installed version of the app. In the search field, you can select a phone number either via the keyboard or via the cursor of your mouse and the virtual numeric keypad. If you're using a device with touch screen, for example your smartphone, you can use the touch functions of your device for the app. You can also enter a name to look for a contact or a MyApps meeting room. Contacts and rooms that match the search entry will then be listed in the tab Search. Further, you can also use the search options on your desk phone. The handset symbol next to the respective contact in the search list, your favorites and your call history will initiate a call. Click on the star symbol next to the contact to add this contact to your favorites. You can also initiate a call by picking up the handset of your desk phone or by pressing the green handset symbol next to the contact information. You can accept incoming calls either by pressing the green handset symbol or by clicking onto the system notification if MyApps is not running in the foreground. On your desk phone, you can also accept phone calls with the green handset symbol or you can simply pick up the handset of your desk phone. The red handset symbol will terminate the current call in the app and with the desk phone. Or simply hang up the handset. Click on the tab History to view your call history with incoming, outbound and missed calls. If you use the app on your smartphone, the tabs will be at the bottom of the screen for easier use with your thumb. By clicking on the contact, Details on all calls and call attempts will be listed below the present status and the profile picture of the contact. Meetings listed in the call history also show the participants of the meeting. Simply click on the eye symbol next to the respective meeting to view the participants. Here, you can further create a meeting post to post the meeting minutes within the Connect app. You can also start a chat with the contact here, send a callback request, load and add contact information and you can add the contact to your favorites by clicking onto the star symbol. Your selected favorites are listed in the tab Favorites. The favorites and your call history are also displayed on your desk phone in sync with the app. Here you can also send a message or add the contact to your favorites by clicking onto the star symbol. The video transmission will start automatically once a phone call is established. Please note that the person you will be talking to must also support video. You also need to make sure that you have not deactivated the video transmission in your settings. The video image of the person you are speaking to or the shared screen will be displayed in the center of the window or in the full window image. 
Depending on the size of the window, you will see your own video image either at the bottom left or on the right hand side. When you hover across the window with the cursor of your mouse, all control panels will appear. Use the button View and click on Full Screen to switch to the Full Screen Mode. Click again to end the Full Screen Mode. Next to the Full Screen button, you can switch between Large Image and Gallery View. If you are in a meeting with several participants, for example, all available video images will be displayed. The 1 to 1 button will display the selected video image in its original size or in a scale size adjusted to the window. Use the button with the squares and the arrow to undock the video image from the MyApps client. You can then reposition and resize the new window as you please. Simply close the window or press the button to dock the video image back into the MyApps client. The Video Device button allows you to switch cameras during a call or to turn your camera on and off while you're in a call. Click on the button Share Screen to share your screen or select contents of your screen with others. Please watch our MyApps tutorial number 35 for more details. Use the microphone symbol to mute yourself. You can adjust the used devices also during the call. On the left side, you have access to your contacts and your call history also during a call. You can see the number of your current calls in form of a batch count. Here, you can view and manage all inbound calls, calls on hold and calls waiting. This lets you handle several calls at the same time. You can also start another call, for example a consultation. You can further begin and end the audio recording for the Recordings app while you are already in an established call. You also have the option to send a temporary chat message to all participants of the current call. This chat history is deleted once the phone call is terminated. If you dialed into a three-party conference or a virtual MyApps meeting, you further have the option to raise your hand. This is a great function to indicate that you would like to speak without having to interrupt anyone. The current speaker is highlighted with a colored frame. If you click on one of the video images, this image will be moved to the front. We will take a look at application sharing and screen sharing, call forwarding and call diversions, three-party conferences, call transfer and toggling in our upcoming tutorials. Many thanks for watching and see you again next time. Oh,